Okay, everyone, welcome to the June Wikipedia and Education User Group Open Meeting. Um, as always, this is an opportunity for us to showcase some of the great work that's being done globally in Wikipedia and education. Um, I am Leanna Davis, I'm the chair of the user group, and typically we start with some introductions and some updates for the user group, but one of our guest speakers here, um, Jackie needs to jump off the call. So we're gonna jump right in with her presentation to start off, um, and uh, maybe we can do a quick round of introductions uh, after she's done if we have uh, sufficient time. So um, I'm gonna turn my video off and turn the floor over to you, Jackie. Thank you. Thank you so much, Leanne, and thank you for this uh, opportunity. I'm really happy to present in this group, and I really admire the work of all the people presenting here. So I follow this uh, meeting every time I, I can, and I'm really happy to, to be part uh, of it today. Uh, and I'm just going to present some of the activities that the education program, program in Wikimedia Mexico has, because it's really a, a, a much more big, uh, bigger program. I'm just going to present uh, some activities in which I am involved directly, but um, it's a really um, much more a uh, larger project and now I hope I can stress some of the, the activities. I'm going to present specifically activities that we have with UNAM, which is the uh, largest university in Mexico, it's the National uh, Autonomous University of Mexico. And uh, the project that we call WikiUNAM, that is uh, this uh, liaison that we have uh, done working with teachers in the in the in this uh, UNAM uh, in my university. And this uh, relationship started in uh, 2015 with this first editathon that uh, gathered 200 uh, teachers uh, face to face in the <laughs> setting and 200 online. So it was a huge event for us that uh, we discovered and find out uh, how many teachers were interested in editing Wikipedia in a classroom setting. So that was uh, the beginning. And then we had another uh, two editathons, uh, not as big as the, the first one, but we are very happy to continue with this collaboration with Wikimedia Mexico and this university. And in the first editathon, uh, we had the opportunity of creating materials in order to prepare this editathon. And uh, when they are there, they are open content. Uh, you can check it out the reproduction, uh, the YouTube uh, list in, in the link uh, below. And uh, uh, these materials were prepared by the Wikimedia Mexico Prouse. And uh, we were very happy and enjoyed really preparing all, all these uh, materials and the editathon itself. And um, uh, we continue doing editathons and, and workshop with teachers. But uh, what we're really happy in now in, in this year is uh, about this course the, that we have now online. It's called Edita Wikipedia. And we have this 20 hour course that uh, teachers can take online. It's designed specifically for UNAM teachers. It's a PD or professional development uh, course for them. That means that they can take it for a they, have, they need to take twice a year uh, one of these course for, for PD credits. And um, it's a four week uh, course and it's self-paced, but we have four live sessions. And we do these sessions in, uh, also in alliance with uh, Wikimedia Mexico, uh, uh, responsible for the education pro program, Jose Reyes, uh, who is not here today to say he, he got sick, he, he was going to come, but um, you have to know him. I'll show you a picture of him later. <laughs> So we have this uh, for live sessions, and this is the, the uh, visualization of, of the course. We use the uh, Moodle platform. And here, uh, I would like to stress some aspects uh, around this, this course. Uno is uh, it's a platform Moodle, but as I work in the MOOC area in my university, we were always thinking about uh, massivity and how to make this bigger. So this is the first attempt, but we are trying to, to go beyond and take this course to a MOOC platform in a, in a platform we are with a, a platform in Mexico that, uh, that do this. We work with Coursera, but it's not the, the business model that we want to use with Wikimedia Mexico. So we, we are working on this, on, on making this course a, a MOOC that can serve to a general public. Also, uh, you may ask that uh, why if Wikimedia Argentina and Wikimedia Chile, they both have uh, courses uh, 
teaching how to use Wikipedia to teachers. Why do we need one in Mexico? And we need it because we want to localize, of course, and we want to get the contents closer to our teachers, to their context. So we need, of course, one for uh, teachers in, in Mexico. And also, uh, we got inspiration for the Wikimedia Education Greenhouse Project. Maybe uh, some of you uh, were in this uh, course also, uh, uh, in Moodle platform also. And in the certification uh, about reading Wikipedia in the classroom, that was a certification that we recently uh, completed. And it's a really fascinating program that allows us to become trainers and, and have some materials and abilities to, to present projects uh, in a really rich way. And also a uh, uh, um, special uh, thank you to the Wikimedia Education User Group Mentoring Pilot uh, uh, that you have, because I had the opportunity to, know, to get to know Bikram Bansant, who was my mentor, and a really uh, huge thank you, uh, because he was an attentive uh, listener and gave me a lot of ideas while I was constructing this, uh, uh, the instructional design of this, of this course. So it was a really su successful mentorship work, even though we didn't, we didn't finish all the, all the activities I, I have planned. But he was uh, so attentive, so uh, really uh, he participated with me in a lot of uh, exchange of ideas that I, I needed to, to consult with someone and someone interested in the Wikipedia activity. Um, so uh, in this alliance, Wikimedia Mexico participated with some promos, uh, graphics. They have some budget to, to put in this. Some interviews, of course, with the community, the Mexican chapter, uh, explaining what is um, the, the, uh, in the Mexican chapter uh, in Wikimedia Mexico. Some tutorials, that's uh, the, the core of the course uh, that Jose Reyes was uh, uh, taking for us. And in the area where I work, that is called Bunam and MOOC in, the, in this university, with the instructional design, the web integration, the content, the multimedia, some practice exercises. We work with H H5P and the hosting, uh, of course, in our platform the, of PD uh, development for teachers. The syllabus is really simple. In these four weeks, we uh, work with uh, creating a user account and then uh, uh, uploading images or freeing images in Wikimedia Commons and then adding a one reference. And then at the end is presenting an educational wiki project a proposal based on the reading, wiki, reading Wikipedia project materials. And that's what they do uh, at the end. So we've been receiving a lot of uh, fascinating projects from, from teachers, and that's really exciting. This is just an overview of the, of the materials we created for this course. You can check it out the YouTube uh, playlist uh, that is linked in, the, in, in this link. And so this is the look that the course has. And it's really funny because the, the whole community is participating in something from a little interview or from um, a appearance in this, in this video. So it was really fun making this and uh, gathering together the community in order to create these educational materials. And so this program that, that uh, I'm sure you all know uh, allows us to, to get certified, to get a certified training, which is really important in the academic uh, in the academic area, because um, there's always a question for us, uh, people wanting to bring Wikipedia into the university. Uh, what credentials do you have, no, if you want to do this project? So this certification uh, gave me this, uh, this credential. And so I can say that I'm a certified trainer. And even though in the, I know in the Wikimedia community, this is not important. I mean, it's important, but I, what counts is the, is the work we all do every day in a voluntarily, uh, manner. Um, this um, certification was really important in order to present to my authorities, my directors, coordinators, etc. And also the we are working now in the contextualizations of these materials. They have it in Spanish. You can download it in the, in the link uh, below. But also we need a context for UNAM teachers. So that's what we are working uh, right now in order to, to give these materials the specific context for, for UNAM with examples, pictures, you know, just a personalization of these, of these rich materials that they are free to download. And so here we, in 2021, we have two rounds of this course with these uh, metrics, and we are working again this year with another 
two rounds. We had one in uh, May, and we are going to have uh, the second one in August. And uh, we are receiving 200 participants this time. So we, are, um, we started with 50, uh, 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 opening for 50 teachers, and now we are opening to 200. So let's see how it's going to be the, the uh, registration of teachers today, because, uh, you know, some uh, we, we will see. And also we are working with new, new media, exploring new forms of uh, working with the teachers interested in implementing um, an educational project in their classrooms. And we are trying with uh, Clubhouse, that it's uh, an audio uh, app uh, to get together. Maybe uh, many of us are kind of tired of uh, the camera always in front of us and attending to seminars and webinars, and, and we don't want one more. So we are trying with these audio seminars in order to get together with uh, teachers and talking about, just with, just with audio, no camera, talking about papers that talk about implementation, specific implementations uh, that uh, has been done like uh, this, uh, Wikipedagogy, it was a, a really interesting term. And what we've been trying to do is annotating socially with this uh, tool hypothesis, which I'm sure uh, you know some of these uh, social annotation tools. This is an open tool. So we are uh, trying to get the, the colleagues in the Wikipedia education community to use it in order to read uh, together uh, online the paper before the audio seminar. So we get to the seminar, we uh, go through the article, to the paper, and looking at the specific um, structure of uh, implementation. And this we are doing because we want uh, our teachers to present that paper at the end of the experience of implementing Wikipedia in the classroom. That's the, our, what we call our 360 um, project. No? Uh, somebody implements Wikipedia and then we um, support as much as we can uh, the, the teacher to present uh, the paper in the form of a blog post or an article for a, a paper uh, review. Uh, but we have to have some input. So that we are doing this in order to show that it's not that difficult, that these articles are, are kind of uh, uh, simple in, in a good sense. It, uh, it means that we don't need a lot of statistics, but what we need is to describe the educational experience and the method and the and the experience and the observations that we have during this implementation. That's what we want to, to show. And then the second article we were reading is this Wikipedia and Open Recognition that is a really interesting one, a piece by Robert Cummings, that who is a, a, an active Wikimedian and we really admire the work uh, he, he's done. And it's also a, a, a a very uh, well-structured article, reading uh, in a very clearly way. We analyze the, the implementation. That's the only uh, requisite that we have for this, uh, the, the, to select a, a paper to work with that relates or uh, describes an implementation, an educational implementation with Wikipedia. And uh, we have the, our seminar. Uh, okay. Also, uh, we have to talk with example. We've been writing um, some experiences that we have or some proposals we have in uh, books in, in our university in order to show them how they could uh, write about their experiences. And like uh, this is Jose Reyes uh, in, the, in the upper right uh, corner. Uh, and I want you to meet him because he it's incredible what we've been he's been doing in, in, in alliance with, with me UNAM he's been replicating in many universities across Mexico and his presence has been fundamental to the Wikimedia Mexico education program for, because we now can rely on someone to give uh, workshops and to establish these liaisons with uh, many universities now so he's a, a key piece, and uh, we wanted to show you some of the teachers we work with. In this case, is the School of Language, Linguistics, and Translation that uh, had an implementation really interesting, and we're in the process of writing the, the experience. And also, we had the first uh, Wikipedia uh, encounter in, in, in 2019, 
we had a second online because of the of the pandemic in 2021. And we are having, a, at the end of this month, the third a Wikipedia education gathering. And this is really, really important for us because we are now to, we are going to see a really <clears throat> interesting implementations. And for us get, get, getting together again, face-to-face, uh, -face, it's, uh, it's, it's really important. And, and one of the most uh, 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 important things that uh, teachers found out in, in this course, of, uh, as far as, as we know, is something like this. I found, that, uh, I found out that Wikipedia is a community, and it's not just an encyclopedia. And that has been uh, really, really good to know that they discovered that uh, there is a community behind Wikipedia. And here is just a, a, a photo of the staff, the not the staff, the board, uh, Wikimedia Mexico board, and uh, just a big hello. And I hope we can uh, keep knowing the the work we do in in the whole program. And I'm, I'm sad that Alejandro can be here today. Really, he got really sick last night. But um, thank you so much. And this is some of the activities that we've been doing uh, lately in the Wikimedia Mexico Education Program and UNAM. Thank you so much, Jackie. That was a great presentation. Um, I, I, I have a couple of questions, but I would love to open it up to anyone else first if uh, someone else has a question they want to jump in with. Um, I can I have a right, question because it. later you won't be here. And yeah, I hope please. we can uh, to talk together later. Uh, so maybe then we can also connect via email or, or something. But um, uh, I will talk later about similar things. Mm -hmm. And it's really nice that I can see that we are so far away from each other. And uh, like Wikipedia will <laughs> make the same things. It's, uh, it's really... Uh, also empowering for me when I'm thinking that what I'm doing is it uh, is it sensible at all? <laughs> uh, so we have the same. Um, uh, we also were consulting with Wikimedia Argentina two years ago before pandemic about this course, and uh, I will talk later that we are still <laughs> working on this course. But my question is: um, Did you consider um, a different platform? Or it was uh, because we now switching from uh, Moodle uh, to the WikiLearn, I think, uh, because as of Bartov convinced me, but <laughs> I'm still at this like point zero of this. Uh, but I was so involved into uh, Moodle and now I'm uh, turning back. So now I'm thinking, is it good? Uh, yeah, no. You... It's a, the, the question, no? Yes. Which is the best platform for these kind of courses? And I think um, best platform is, is what you have right now. I mean, um, we have an excellent engineer. We do online courses all the time. Uh, and for our teachers at UNAM, I think Moodle is a perfect solution. But when we think about going out and to the general population, we are going to use edX, which is the, the, the platform that the Mexico X is the platforms we are talking with to, to present it MOOC in, in, in the open. And they they have edX. Mm -hmm. uh, I think this wiki learn is also on edX. On edX, maybe I remember from emails, but I have to look at. And it, yes. it works very well. I think both are powerful uh, tools. But for Moodle, I think we need a, a really good engineer by our yes, side. It was our problem too. Mm -hmm. But many universities, most of the universities in Poland, uh, have uh, platforms on uh, some kind of Moodle. So academics are um, familiar with this, but not teachers from uh, lower grades. And uh, right. so maybe this um, this wiki learn will be also useful for them. I think yes. yes. So I'm still think all the time every day. I'm thinking about this. Uh, so no, I think you're right. I think you're right. It, it will be easier. I think for people not used to. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's going to be the first time in an online course for, for this public. And yes. so edX, I think. You. Thank you yeah. very much for this brief consulting. <laughs> um, I think I have a question. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. All right, thank you so much. Um, 
Um, it was really an interesting presentation. I actually enjoyed the whole show. Um, what I just want um, to get more insight to is the reading with Peter in the classroom. Um, how is this then done and what are the strategies um, that is going to be used to implement that? And maybe um, at our local level, for example, in Ghana here, how do I get um, to use Wikipedia in the classroom? See, absolutely, it's a really good question. And let me just take the, the link uh, from this program. And I think uh, there's coming another cohort or another uh, opportunity to get uh, certified. Just give me a second. Oh, I don't have it here. Is it? You can uh, just uh, sign up here to receive uh, information in the, in the link I just put in the chat. And then you'll receive uh, information about the next uh, cohort. Um, we just had our graduation, I think, in last month. And uh, it's really a good program because it shows uh, people how to present a project from the academics, uh, from the academic point of view, but also from the economic point of view. And that's really um, how to talk with directives. That's the thing. No? How do I present this to my coordinator or to a, an officer in the educational position, whatever I want to present this project. And so that, that strongest um, ability that maybe I, I, as a teacher, I don't have, I just have to present to my students. But as a, uh, if I have to present to a, an institution, I have to say why this is, how much this is going to cost, if, what do I need, what kind of materials do I need, and also help us to give a certification after the, the implementation. So that's also attractive for institutions. So how to present the whole project. So I think you will like it. Mm -hmm. Can I ask one question? I am from India. Could you allow me to ask a question? Please, please, please do. Yeah, Jacqueline. Jacqueline, my question is, you are doing wonderful job in Mexico. And just I heard the voice from Kaira from Poland. My question is, we are expecting free access of knowledge to every human being. I think in 2030, even non-human beings also are to be supposed to access the free knowledge. So how can you uh, define and uh, percept the future of the 2030 to 2050 certification plus free access of knowledge? How can you uh, link the certification and uh, free access of the knowledge? See, um, I don't know if you if you mean the certification as a trainer. Well, it's, a, it's a, something that the Wikimedia Foundation provides, and it's a, a free, a, and it has access for every. A, I mean, there's a process of selection, but the access is is, is open. And in terms of giving a certification to teachers, it's just a, it's more like a, a, a token of appreciation that they spent at least 20 hours. And also, I think it's a, a different thing when we put these courses as a PD for teachers, they need the certification. They need that to, to show that they spend some hours there. But if we go to open public, like in, in the MOOC format, there is a certification, but, but people sometimes don't need it. In the platform we want to work, it's, an, it's a public platform, so they don't have to pay for the certification. But for Coursera, for instance, they, they, they need to. That's why we're not choosing Coursera, because we want to keep uh, this knowledge open, exciting. I don't know if that answers some part of the, your question. My doubt is, shall Wikipedia Foundation in the coming future allow the certification? Now they are not allowing the certifications, you know? The certification for, for trainers, it's, yes, they, they, they do with this program, but, um, but it's not required in order to, to teach with Wikipedia no, at the end. It's, it's just something optional. And, and I think it should be optional. Yeah, I got your point. Thank you. 
you know, thank you so much for your question and it's been a pleasure. I, I love Seiko's background today. <laughs> I think, Jackie, I think you need to head out here. Is that correct? Okay. That's correct. Okay. Well, thank you so much for your great presentation. There's and the, everyone for lots of great questions. We appreciate um, you jumping in. And I uh, will, I'll share the link again to, um, to Jackie's presentation here for those of you and in the chat. For those thank you so much. And I'll catch up, Clara, with your presentation. And let's keep in touch. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Okay, um, so let's move in. Um, uh, typically, for those of you who joined a little later, typically um, I do a little introduction of the user group and what we've got going on um, before we do the guest presentations. But since Jackie had to, to jump off, we jumped right into her presentation this time. Um, so I can, um, I, I can share a little bit about the things that we have going on right now. Um, the major thing that we have going on is we have our mentorship program, um, which many uh, folks participated in the first round last year. And we already have 25 people who have signed up to participate in the second round, um, which I'm pretty excited about. If you have not yet signed up to participate, the deadline is uh, the 19th. So coming right up this week, um, I just pasted the link in the chat there for you to sign up to participate. You can choose to either be a mentor or a mentee or both. So if there's some element of working with an education program that you're interested in teaching someone about that you feel quite confident in, but there's maybe a more advanced element that you're interested in learning about, you can sign up to participate as both a mentor or and a mentee on, um, on different elements. And so this gives you an opportunity to kind of engage with the program um, as much as you'd like. So I'm, um, Really excited to see the interest um, from the 25 people who have already signed up. I think that really shows uh, the need for this kind of mentorship work uh, in our in our movement more broadly. And um, I think it's also right in line with our current movement strategy recommendations as well around um, establishing more thematic organization and um, creating opportunities to grow the skills of um, our, our volunteers and staff people in our movement, which is of course also very important. Um, so I definitely encourage you to sign up. If you participated in the last round, um, one of the feedback that we got from the participants is it needed a little more structure. Um, and all of us here at the user group do this in our volunteer capacities. And so um, none of us have a lot of time to provide the same structure that um, a staff-led mentorship program would. Um, but we've tried to put together a little bit more structure this time. So we have a, um, a mentorship guide document that will be sent to all of the mentors who are participating in the program that offers some kind of guidance around what you should do as a mentor and we'll be doing a little bit more regular check-ins with the mentorship pairings um, along the way to make sure that conversations are happening and both participants are getting uh, what they wanted to get out of it along the way. Um, so hopefully that will provide sort of a little more structure for the experience this time around. Um, so if you were on the fence about whether you wanted to sign up, I would encourage you to definitely sign up and um, the deadline is this weekend. So please fill out the form uh, sooner rather than later. Um, the second, well, any questions about that before I move on to the next topic? Okay, I'm glad to hear you signed up. <laughs> um, so moving on to the next topic is the upcoming EduWiki International Conference. Um, so as background for those of you who um, may not be as familiar with this, this was a conference that we had planned to have in, I believe, October of 2020. And we had gone through the process of, we did a bunch of community surveys and sort of had identified uh, what we want to get, get out of the conference and we'd set a date and a um and a location and then and applied for a conference grant from the Wikimedia Foundation and we were like days away from having it approved we'd answered all the follow-up questions from the grants committee and all that and then the pandemic happened and obviously the conference did not happen in person and we discussed whether we wanted to try to do something virtually and we really felt like 
the in-person connections that we all get from meeting other education program leaders globally are one of the more important parts of the education conference and the ability to communicate with each other and, um, and find connections is, is very important. And so we wanted to make sure that we were able to do this as an in-person conference um, in the future. And so um, it's looking like at least right now, the public health situation is improving such that we might be able to have an international conference. It's tentatively scheduled for March or April of next year of 2023. Um, so in about a year from now, and, um, and I would uh, encourage you all to stay tuned. Uh, we will be needing to redo our sort of community uh, survey uh, since things have changed since in the two years since we did our last community survey to demonstrate the need and interest for this conference. And um, so we'll be sending something out around the education list and in, in the coming uh, weeks to, to get that uh, kicked off. Oh, Mohammed, let me share the, the sign up that I was specifically talking about is for the education programs mentorship, which is right in here. Um, and we had our first presentation, um, Jackie, and she actually talked about um, her experiences with the Wikimedia Foundation's Reading Wikipedia in the Classroom program, um, which there's a link right here to that if you're interested. Those are the two sort of signing up opportunities. Um, so with the conference, it is still uh, intended to be happening in Belgrade, Serbia, and we're looking at kind of the March and April timeframe of next year. So if you have um, particular thoughts or anything like that, you're welcome to, um, to share them now, or we will be uh, sending more information around um, when we are ready to, to put together our conference grant application, um, our revised conference grant application. <laughs> And I think that's it in terms of updates from the user group. Um, Joao or Zico are my other fellow board members here. Do either of you have anything else that I should talk about that I missed? How many days the conference uh, will take? I think it will probably be three days. That's what it's been in the past. Um, but I think part of that will be depending on what uh, feedback we're getting from uh, the community surveys that we'll do. Oh, thank you, Shora. <laughs> All right. Well, hearing no other questions, um, I'm going to turn this back over to our second presenter, Karara from Wikimedia Poland, um, who um, will do a, I'm sure, also great presentation about the education program work that Wikimedia Poland is doing. Clara, it's all yeah. yours. Thank you very much, Liana, for inviting me here and uh, this very quick update. I'm just taking notes. <laughs> Uh, I also remember this planning um, to October. It was, yes, yes. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to. Uh, wait okay. A um, yeah, can you see this? Yes. Yes. Okay, maybe I will take my face from here. Uh, okay, so just. Um, uh, when I, yeah, I was preparing this slide and I was thinking that maybe. Uh, we are doing too much <laughs> um, because um, I wrote here that our uh, education team is just two persons and since uh, We're like so, one year. Clara, sorry to interrupt you here. We're just yeah. seeing your um, your Google Drive, not ah, the actual okay. slides. How to say it? Um, how to make it? Mm. Maybe stop sharing and try resharing, and maybe that'll show a different window. And now? Yes, now we see your slides. Okay. I, I don't know why, but okay. <laughs> yeah, but reset is always good. <laughs> That's right. Okay, so um, uh, I don't know how, how big are your educational teams in your chapters or groups. But uh, we have only uh, two persons uh, since one year, and at the beginning, 2019, I, I was only one, me myself. 
uh, of course, before we, we our association Wikimedia Poland um, has uh, over 15 years, uh, and of course we are doing uh, educational things, but not uh, like in a complex strategy program and so on. So when I came um, as a uh, member of the team uh, in 2019, it was my first job to make a, like educational strategy. Uh, and then pandemic came. <laughs> yes. uh, so uh, I can show you what we um, what we managed to do um, during the pandemic and now. And I hope you can see as I'm changing this. Um, yes. Okay. <laughs> Great. Um, I don't know what in PDF, uh, not uh, not in slides, but okay. Um, so. Uh, our core program is called Wiki School in Wiki Szkoła in Polish, Wiki School. And uh, in the pilot edition, it was only 14 schools from all, the, all, all of the country. They were volunteered to be in this. But of course, um, they decided to join the program uh, in uh, January, February 2000, uh, 2020. Um, and then in March, all schools were closed in Poland. Uh, so it was very strange pilot edition <laughs> uh, because all, all things went online and uh, before we were planning to meeting on, uh, live and so on. Um, but they were very brave, those teachers, and we managed to do many trainings online. And it was um, also great opportunity to learn from the teachers because uh, I think in your countries was <laughs> the same situation. The teachers have to had to switch to the online uh, education, uh, so our teachers uh, tried to um, te they tested new uh, tools like uh, Geniali, Wakelet, and and, all, and so on many many ICT tools. Uh, so we also uh, benefited from this, um, and now we I. Just quickly, um, briefly, uh, counted this before this presentation, and I think now after two years, we trained over or supported 600 primary school and high school students. But I think it's close to 1,000 or maybe something like this. And I'm not talking about university projects because this is another our program with few universities in Poland. Um, uh, I think. If I have more volunteers and I'm trying to gather them, it would be even more because we are quite a big country with many schools, but all the time there is some uh, um, hard situation, pandemic, uh, war, uh, the war is very close now and we have refugees here. So the teachers are always busy with something uh, and they're struggling uh, and there are strikes and so on. Um, um, the, there is a link to my slides uh, in the chat, I think, um, in the beginning, and uh, I think Liana uh, will paste um, also once again. Uh, so there are slides about the beginning of this project. You can uh, click in the links um, and go through this. And also, what are our goals? Yes, I noted here some of them, uh, but basically, uh, we are we are not we don't want to force teachers to do anything so maybe our outcomes not are not so like um, from the programs of ministry of education or something like erasmus and other european union programs uh, because we are not so bureaucratic and if teachers said uh, i'm sorry i have so many things with refugees now or so many things with other um, uh, programs uh, we can ask them to, to finish the wiki project, uh, but not force them. And I think it's very important because uh, Pol Polish schools are very strict. And we want to show teachers through wiki projects that it's not um, that the schools um, don't have to be so strict and so scary, you know. Uh, then maybe something like democratic education, you can make um, the, the vibes of democratic education or the um, free school um, on even like homeschooling in the good way. Um, 
So now you can see this on this photo, there are students from Polish schools, but in Czech Republic. So we are uh, crossing the, the borders now. And this was the, the, the example of a project that gathered five schools from Poland and from Czech Republic, and also Wikimedia Czech, Czechia, Czech Republic uh, were helping us uh, because many Polish students are on the other side of border. Uh, so it was also a possibility to integrate schools from the both sides of border. And um, yeah, and they made a, like 60 or 70 um, uh, new articles on Polish Wikipedia about this region. It's a very um, historical region in Poland. Um, so now, uh, we also during this two, two, on this two years, we, um, this is important because this time we have money uh, uh, from our budget. I got it from our board from our like, uh, year budget plan. So I could hire the creative agency and we made five short movies. Uh, like two minutes, three minutes with animations and so on, uh, with main topics, Wikipedia, histo history of Wikipedia, uh, how to edit, uh, how, how we check the um, sources, uh, about Wiki Education also, there is a separate movie, and about Glambiki and Wikimedia Commons. So these five uh, short movies are very useful. And uh, I recommend if you can do something like this, it's great because before every training, every big project, you can send something like this and uh, put it into the course, uh, put it into the invite, invitation um, email to the head directors of uh, schools, uh, just to get them possibility to, to look what this woman is talking about, like, uh, because uh, you can uh, imagine that Wikipedia and Wikipedia and school are uh, very mis um, misunderstand, uh, misunderstood in uh, among teachers still, and uh, we have to um, explain very basic things sometimes, basic for us Wikipedians, but also really for, for teachers and journalists and for children. Uh, so also in this presentation, you can uh, click and see these uh, movies on Wikimedia Commons, YouTube. Uh, we made also English subtitles. If you want to do more subtitles, please let me know. I would like to have it in, um, in uh, Spanish, for example, but uh, it's, uh, we don't have volunteer for this. Uh, and also after many failures and <laughs> hard situation, like 200 students uh, creating accounts and making some mess on Wikipedia and our admins and um, were terrified and angry. Uh, so now we very, very carefully look at this and uh, if school want to join to the project, make something on her on its own. Uh, we try to find volunteer to be like mentor for the this classroom uh, for this uh, group um, or for the teacher. Uh, of course, we try to train uh, the teacher first, uh, but many times it is uh, it's the same uh, new thing for the teacher as for the students. Uh, so the some someone from like on behalf of Wikimedia Poland to take care of the group, to check the sandboxes, uh, to uh, answer the question is very useful. And uh, like we are, we have a light heart <laughs> about this. Um, and also we prepared some gadgets, some sweets to send to the schools. So you can see um, the kids after the finishing of the school project, even if this is small project, like taking pictures and uploading to Wikimedia Commons, they get something from us um, uh, to have you know, nice memories about this. Uh, if we can, we can visit them, uh, some, but sometimes it's not, not possible because I, as I said, 
uh, we are only two <laughs> and uh, Poland is quite big. Uh, but it's very nice to be uh, on the spot in the classroom, especially when uh, the students are back in the schools now. And also we uh, prepared, we are preparing different materials for the schools. Uh, during the pandemic, we made some wiki notebooks uh, based on the school curriculum uh, from the history, geography, um, and biology and so on. Not so many, like I think seven on eight or eight, uh, but each of them uh, was containing things from um, like wiki source, um, wiki uh, dictionary, uh, commons, and Wikipedia um, to, 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 to show the teachers that you can use all of these Wikipedia projects, like sister projects, uh, to talk about subject that the um, Ministry of Education wants you to talk to the, to the students. And that Wikipedia is not nothing scary and uh, it's, real, uh, it's a good source. And also we asked uh, teachers from our pilot group um, to write uh, scripts for lessons. Uh, in, and it was very, um, very nice and great because they made like great presentations in Geniali tool or other things, and um, mostly about uh, famous people uh, from Poland. And all of these materials are on our website. Uh, this is also some, the links is somewhere. I, this is website in Polish, so I know that it will not be useful for you, but we made a special uh, website, not like on wikimedia.pl, but wikishkoła.pl and to um, transfer our target groups to this site. And now we can update here, uh, upload updates and um, every material. Uh, so um, I'm talking about this that I recommend to make as um, external website for schools because sometimes these Wikipedia sites are confusing for the new persons, uh, for teachers, for the uh, head masters and so on. Uh, of course, then when, uh, when they start Wiki project, we made them um, um, like Wikipedia project website with you know the table and they uh, sign there and so on. But uh, the, the first contact website, it looks like normal website, yes? And um, it's like a first meeting of us. Um, and we, now we are working on a new project um, for school libraries, Wikiteka, and the first step is uh, research. Uh, we gathered for, uh, 400, over 400 um, uh, answers. And now we hired the um, research uh, um, agency. I don't, so I forgot the word for this. Um, the group of researchers, and they are analyzing this now and uh, preparing reports for us. Uh, so we asked uh, school librarian, li uh, librarians about situation at school. Uh, and how they see the future of libraries in school, because in Poland, the school libraries are in very, very bad condition. <laughs> and uh, there are like forgotten places in schools and also among library world, uh, I can say. So we would like to make um, some difference and create some wiki spots uh, in the schools uh, located in libraries and make like digital leaders uh, out of librarians there. So finger crossed, fingers crossed, because this is like first steps of this and uh, it's very hard to reach this group. And also I would recommend you to networking with teachers, not only um, through trainings, webinars and so on, but also to meet um, personally. We, we all want to meet after pandemic, like. We are still have pandemic. We still have pandemic, but this was the first on this. You can see on the photo, it was our first um, meeting um, 
when uh, our authorities gave permission to go out and museums were open, uh, and we invited teachers and educators to National Museum in Warsaw and make like small workshop about the design thinking. And we ate some cakes <laughs> and went to the for the burgers and so on. And it was really nice because uh, I know them. Uh, I I only knew them from the from online before. And um, that this is another dimension of of. Uh, creating new educational perspective to meet uh, face to face. And another thing we uh, we are happy to like, we can see that it's working uh, is like her story walks. And I think in each of your places, you can make something like this. Uh, just go with your group of new Wikipedians, old Wikipedians to your town, to your village, uh, after there's um, um, trials of your women, in, in notable women in your area, area. Uh, this is from Cieszyn, it is this border town, uh, borderland town, and there are many stories about very important women like uh, queens and uh, activists and uh, uh, and writers and so on who went to this town all, all over the, the ages and we invited the uh, in March um, some local activists, some academics, uh, also uh, new editors, uh, female editors of Wikipedia and very advanced Wikipedia editors and we made like two days of everything. We were exhausted after this but we were walking and uh, listening to the lectures during the walk and then we are meeting at the library and uh, editing some, uh, learning how to edit and editing uh, articles about women. And uh, I had opportunity to talk about this uh, um, at the uh, volunteer uh, support uh, meeting. Um, so you can click on the slides and there are more information about this her story walks. Uh, but this is very nice and integrating for women, and but not also not only for women. Um, but I think in each country, the the this subject is sometimes um, forgotten or not so very important, and we are still have gender gap in Wikipedia. So this is a nice thing to not only sit before in front of the computer, but also in the in the cafe in the in the coffee shop with coffee and uh, talk and then edit. And um, another thing we um, we see and we want to do is to uh, show our teachers to the world and uh, show those teachers who were nothing with Wikipedia like two years ago. And now, for example, this, uh, this girl, um, now he's uh, the high editor in Wikipedia. I think he's she's uh, she's an author of like 200 or more artic new articles. I think more. And we invited her to do Wiki Week uh, because I was in the um, organizer uh, group, organizing group of this in February. And uh, the, this is also on YouTube with uh, English subtitles, and she shared her story about uh, Wikipedia and uh, her life. And this is very great example of, of the person that she started from uh, one uh, action with her students, like high, high school students, and now uh, twice a year she's making a similar action. Uh, now we are planning uh, ethno, um, ethnographic uh, editing uh, in, uh, in the summer. So, um, like, she's an example that it's very nice to be a teacher and Wikipedia and what you can do. And another thing is to cooperate with, um, uh, cooper uh, with corporate institution institutions, like, like companies. Uh, it was our first time on um, this scale in education. Uh, we prepared uh, with Intercero. Uh, this is a company which deals with, um, um, how to say it? Mm. 
I forgot. Ah, redu uh, reducing um, thrushes and so on and so on. Like um, I forgot the word, but sorry, <laughs> it's it's like here. Um, and we prepare with them uh, materials to echo education. And uh, each in each uh, script there is uh, something about Wikipedia or to call, uh, like check something on Wikipedia. I think about uh, something looking at the um, uploads in Wikimedia Commons about uh, our nature and so on. Also, there is a special uh, es escape room to use in the li school library. So this is like, four on, we made only 14 of huge, um, like you see, package. And uh, in each uh, uh, package, there are three boxes. And in each box, there is some, like story cubes or some cards, a cue cards or some uh, and other things to deal with. Uh, this is like for one week of making things about climate, about uh, trashes, about uh, water and uh, all of this important stuff. And uh, yes, so it um, we I wanted to make it made uh, more of this, and uh, teachers are asking us asking us now where I can buy it for my school, but um, it wasn't cheap, <laughs> and we only made it for this pilot group, like fourteen schools uh, have it now in whole Poland, and we have to in our office to to borrow yes, to, uh, if someone uh, wants to borrow this. Um, yeah, and we also, we hope that we also have conference live in October, but the 2022, uh, so I hope it will be, and this online course that Jacqueline was saying, we, uh, I don't know, this is like uh, something, all the time is something on our way, uh, I think mostly lack of time <laughs> to finish this, but now when we are starting this uh, Sub program for uh, libraries, uh, school libraries. I think I have to be more motivated and finish this course. And uh, as I said before in the comment uh, to Jacqueline, uh, we switched from Moodle now to WikiLearn, and I hope it will work. Um, work. Uh, I'm talking to Asaf Bartov about this, and I already started test course on WikiLearn platform. Um, and I hope it will be in the summer already. And okay, thank you for listening. I'm sorry for my English <laughs> uh, today. And uh, this is my email. And uh, I really recommend you to click all of this uh, presentation and to see everything. And that's all, thank you. Thank you so much, Clara. That was wonderful. Um, I learned a lot from, from your presentation and it's amazing all of the work that you guys are doing with so many different programs uh, with yeah, such a small I think staff. Too, <laughs> now I think maybe I should focus on one and I will have this course. <laughs> yeah. um, does anyone have any questions? Yes, I do. Can I? Joao, go for it. Yes. Hi. Uh, everyone, hi Clara, great presentation. And exactly, uh, you just mentioned what I was gonna ask that you showed us several uh, ideas and practices and they all look wonderful. And, um, and what I was gonna ask you is to actually choose one and eventually help us think through the process that led you to create uh, this idea, this program. So what was the, the set goal? How did you assess the impact and help us go through the process of building the solution that you just presented? And I think all of them look wonderful. So congratulations. Yeah, thank you. And, and I think that, um, um, thank you for a question and a, a note. And some of these things are, uh, so our math, like everything now, uh, in every moment, in uh, the same moment, because we're stopped with, um, uh, of the pandemic, and then we have to uh, rush and finish them. So I, I hope that next year will be like more peaceful, really, uh, because it's too too many, too much, and everything. Uh, but our third goal was to introduce Wikipedia to the um, primary and high schools, because with universities. 
is also sometimes uh, catchy and challenging, but not so much as uh, with primary schools. I don't know how it's in your countries, but um, as I said, teachers here are dealing with so many uh, um, uh, hard in situations that another project coming into the school it's not welcome <laughs> not so warm welcome mostly especially um, if we are not connected i don't know to the high authorities or something like this uh, but of course brand our brand like wikipedia uh, is something that opens the door uh, so anyways many teachers are so curious uh, that they are um, the, um, they deciding to put another things aside and choose us, but they have to talk to the directors, uh, had, had they um, yeah, had headmasters. So now after two years, I'm feeling a little bit a little bit happier, <laughs> more happy, uh, because uh, now we have so many things like this. I can show these slides some newsletters uh, like Outreach Wikimedia Education. Uh, we can show something and uh, headmasters are not so scary and what's, what's going on? No, Wikipedia, how? I use Wikipedia to check something after Netflix, yes? Uh, this is the first uh, impression. Um, and uh, also we are, in Poland, we are switching to this UNESCO um, um, key competencies like eight, uh, competencies of the future. So when I say this, um, that Wikipedia, uh, that the Wikipedia school projects are um, ideal for this, because they fill in in every of these uh, key competencies. And we can uh, uh, during the conversation with head directors or teachers, we simply uh, check, check, check all of this with the examples. And uh, when we talked through this in our team, uh, it was obvious. And um, this is very great because then teachers can say, okay, so this is okay with our curriculum uh, because the first blockade uh, block is, no, no, it's nothing uh, with our curriculum. We can't do this because the parents and everyone uh, don't allow, won't allow us. Uh, but when we turn like level higher, like UNESCO and everything and future, uh, our multidisciplinary uh, um, actions, it's better. However, it's uh, not in every school it's uh, possible because sometimes this like stupid things are uh, blocking uh, good actions like no, I don't know how to switch with the biology teacher to have two literature classes together to make something. Um, so, uh, yeah, so some, sometimes these conversations are <laughs> like very, very detailed and, uh, uh, you know, like at school. <laughs> and, but we have already some schools that they put on the, um, how to say, it, this certification at the end of the, school year um well, i forgot to words today uh you know the uh, students get at the end of the year um the certificate and uh, the some of some of our teacher our teachers from Vicky school program uh, they put uh, on this like this is official official paper you you have then take you to the high school and everywhere so I was very moved by this. I didn't know they do this. Like I, I know about three teachers and also one high school uh, when the vice principal is the Wikipedian. Uh, they are trying to make it more, even more official to make it like a um, main uh, subject. So it would be whole precedence. And I'm so waiting for this. But it's not so easy. Uh, you have to make many, many conversations. But the goal is to set it as it will be normal. Yes. Uh, oh, I see Mohammed. Yes. So that's why Mohammed is uh, has a point also, um, and that's why we maybe not maybe it's not so good because we are talking ab about this program widely and everywhere and on conferences, but to make it happen because we are so so small team. And not 
uh, not every time we have volunteers. Uh, we are focusing on the teachers that they, uh, who uh, want to do something. And they also have blessing from the headmasters. Uh, because the headmaster is everything at the school. If they don't agree to, uh, won't agree to uh, give the teacher the space, the time, and everything, the, it's, it will be frustrating. So we really focus on the on the headmasters also. <laughs> Mm. Two people is not so small, okay? Because I'm I'm fighting for another one. So. <laughs> we we all need to get more people for education. Yeah. You're fighting because I'm fighting. in Poland <laughs> they have two people. <laughs> okay. uh, so I had two people uh, from one year, but I was alone when I was. This is the this is the because now I have this uh, great great new colleague. She's so uh, experienced and, and so um, everywhere, and uh, you know, I, I'm I feeling like I was like Robinson Crusoe or something. Like for two years, I was a, a one year and a half. I was alone and making my own edu strategy. And then my boss said, "Okay, Clara, let's do this." And then was pandemic, and I was just trying to do some webinars and. and <laughs> And suddenly, I um, I have to confront this with real people and uh, this new colleague, and she's very insightful. So two people are really important. Not be alone because now I can see uh, why my some of ideas wasn't so good. <laughs> oh, thank I, you, thank you. <laughs> I hope I, this is recorded, and I will show this to my board meeting. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> um, I had a question about the library research, the Wikitika project that you're doing. Um, when are you expecting to have the results from that project? Uh, yes. Yeah, so uh, the um, the the first report of this from this agency research agency will be, uh, I hope, in the end of August. Because they are Great. already working. Because like one week ago, we closed uh, the responding uh, form, like, like the form, and uh, I hope that will be more of this. We hope like will be five hundred or more, but it's very hard to to reach uh, libraries. And also, we have this um, law of um, I'm sorry, I, I don't know how to explain this. That I can I can't uh, send anything to the institution. Um, and gather uh, data about uh, name and everything. We have in Europe now this Rodo uh, in Polish. Okay. So it was hard to to uh, to get to this, but I think 400 and 400 is a lot of people. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot, and especially that uh, this is the first uh, research in Poland in Poland like this, because there were researches about pandemic teachers, pandemic students about teachers at all and education, but there was no uh, about li school libraries. And this is like, the, there are in the schools, in every school there is a school library. Uh, so we are very curious what will be, uh, like we can see already some, you know, um, on these forms, but what this agency <laughs> analyzes analyze from this. And then uh, we want to um, present this on our October conference. And uh, in August, we will have the summer workshop for uh, 10, 10 uh, school libraries, librarians. Great. Uh, about Wikipedia, but not also. Uh, there will be editing, but we want uh, to, to hear, listen to them. And uh, because there, there will be like advanced, uh, you know, they are 3D printing and all they are doing. Um, and yeah, we want to make them like digital leaders in the schools, but uh, with the brand of Wikipedia. So at the beginning, my, I hope will be there will be ten schools like this. Uh, we have some issues here also with our government because there is a law changing to let NGOs letting in uh, to the schools. Mm. So I don't know what will be next <laughs> after pandemic and, yes. and everything. Now <laughs> maybe this will be the problem, uh, but uh, this would be perfect yeah. because uh, there is a problem to get whole class or free uh, group of many group of students to our office in Warsaw to have some events. But the students are in uh, 
schools and there is a library and they can go there and do something. Because men in Poland, many children are also spending free time or waiting for the lessons mm -hmm. in the libraries. And they are very tiny and uh, not well financed and so on. So, well, I think so it, it's a huge opportunity and I'm really excited you guys are doing the, that research. Now, now we have one uh, the money for this year and from the grant of Wikimedia Foundation. So next year we will be asking for more because we, then we will ask for money to um, like make things make over. Mm -hmm. So this will be like real buying things and you know, painting walls, I don't know. So I hope it will work also. <laughs> Great. Any other questions for Clara? Okay, hey, hearing then, I will say a big round of thank you to both Clara and to Jackie, who um, has, uh, has now jumped off the call. But thank you both for your great presentations. Um, and it was really lovely to, to hear your presentations and celebrate all the wonderful work you both are doing. Um, and I will be posting the video recording of this message um, on the Wikipedia and Education User Group's YouTube channel later on today. Um, so uh, let's, let me go ahead and stop the recording now so that can happen.